How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fabulous Monday. And if you're going to be here live for the Monday Mini, it is obviously a few minutes late, and I do apologize for that. But uh, I was watching my baby today, and this was the time I had available. So, okay. So, the episode 252 is live. We'll go ahead and like that. All right. So, welcome to today's Monday Mini. My name is Jeffrey W. Ingram. I am one of the hosts of the World Builders Anvil podcast. And here on Monday, I do a Facebook Live talking about something I missed. So it's our Monday missed mini episode. Now, uh, episode 252, we're talking about historical uh, fantasy. And so during that show, we ended up talking a little bit about Chronicles of Narnia, which got me thinking. One of the statements I made, and I tried to back off a little bit, was Christian fantasy is probably mainly just historical earth fantasy, but made for Christians. So being the kind of person I am, I start going in, I start doing some more research. I've heard a lot of stuff about the Chronicles of Narnia and their uh, Christian symbolism in there. And I found it somewhat convoluted. I don't think there was any evidence C.S. Lewis intended this to be Christian fantasy, but he had become a Christian and and it, as an adult, and a lot of that had seemed to influence uh, the Chronicles of Narnia. And there's a lot of academic and uh, stuff out on the internet talking about the symbolism of Christianity in the Chronicles of Narnia. Now, at the same time, I believe there's also a lot of criticism when it came out talking about, hey, how can you do all of this, you know, pagan stuff, there's magic and stuff in here. So there's a lot of, you know, accusations that it was not Christian when it came out. And I have to say, I, I don't know if the Chronicles of Narnia uh, themselves uh, constitute Christian fiction or fantasy fiction. And uh, there's nothing, you know, really right or wrong. You know, they're, they're brilliant stories either way. Uh, but the premise that I, I, I had, the conclusion I had to come to from my little intellectual episode was to sit there and go, if the Chronicles of Narnia are based on a different world, Narnia, and it is based off of Christian symbolism, then it would be quite simple to uh, create uh, Christian fantasy fiction on any non-Earth. Um, so uh, by that definition alone, uh, I would have to say that I, I was completely flawed to include the Christian fantasy in the historical Earth fantasy uh, discussion. So I was right off, right out. I, I screwed it up. I think I screwed the pooch on even uh, saying that. So I think it would be easy to do that. You could do something in the context of Christians, uh, you know, like Peter fighting against the mage, like some of the stuff that was actually done in apocryphal text about Christianity. But um, needless to say, I have to say I'm wrong. And, and, and if you quickly Google, you find stuff like the seven realms. Um, so, I'd have to say I'm really just, I was way off in that statement. So that is uh, where we stand. So Jeffrey struck out with his uh, assumption at the hip during the episode. So go back to episode 252 if you have not seen it to get the rest of it, which I think was pretty good. Uh, and uh, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything else. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.